what is up star wars fans welcome to the star wars lab in this video i'm gonna give you my tips and tricks on how to absolutely destroy with the officer class before we get into that if you're new here be sure to write like comment subscribe so getting into the abilities the officer class if you go the route i recommend you will have flash grenade improved battle command and blast return flash grenade is just a ridiculous ability i do hope it gets nerfed more at some point it's already been nerfed a little bit the duration on this blinding effect is really long Improved Battle Command, really nice. How many classes in this game can just heal themselves? Just instantly give yourself a big chunk out. Really nice. Blaster Turret, this is just phenomenal for locking down areas that you don't want to have to stand and keep shooting. Now, Resourceful, like I just said, all of the officer's abilities are so freaking amazing that you do want Resourceful because it's going to give you a nice recharge time on all of those abilities. You can use them as often as possible. I do kind of like Officer's Presence, just a little side note. Now, Improved Battle Command is great. Okay, that's more, you know, it's just, Battle Command is already an amazing ability. This is gonna kinda take it to the next level. Now, all the little officer buff abilities are gonna be good, but this is my preferred by far. Bounty Hunter, another phenomenal card. I mean, I recommend this on every single class. The officer class will be no different. We're just here to get the hero as fast as possible, right? Now, I do kind of like Marksman because you will get a lot of, you know, nice shots and you, with this with the guns the officer has. Improved Flash Grenade, another great card. It already is great though. Disruption, I will swap this out oftentimes on maps and use it on some of the smaller maps. It is a ridiculously good star card um, to use. Maybe forego Resourceful or, or the Bounty Hunter for it. Recharge Command, Blast Command, like I said, the other you know, battle commands are also really good. Squad Shield, this is a phenomenal star card for um, extraction, and in general, it can just kind of be a lifesaver for your team if you use it well. Now, as far as weapons are concerned, I am 100% taken by the Blarg, and I like the reduced recoil and the improved burst. Now, the SE-44C, don't get me wrong, it's a really good gun, but the Blarg is just a little pocket shotgun, and they've nerfed it a couple times, and it's just, to me, it just still seems amazing. It's just such a good gun for running in and just destroying the enemies. Now, one of the best things about the officer is your your uh, little flash grenade. You can just kind of blind a big group of enemies, and then dropping down a turret to kind of lock down an entranceway is just going to be a superb tactic on small maps. Because if you're on a tiny map like this, and there's literally this doorway to get through, and you can just block the whole teammates, the whole enemy team down there. Just look at the combination. I mean, me and this one officer, between us, we can hold off this entire team just by continuously dropping battle commands to heal ourselves, dropping down flashbangs to blind everybody, and using our turrets to supplement our fire. And let's not forget, the blur can absolutely destroy. Look at that. I mean, we just wiped out this group of enemies. And the other thing to note is that the Blurg is a very good close range weapon. I mean, you can get in really close with this pistol. Don't think that it's an, you're an officer so you have to stand back. Lead by example because the Blurg is a pocket shotgun and it will give you the damage you need to run up close and one shot enemies. I mean, it's, it's insane the amount of damage this gun can do. You will outdo, you know, assault rifles. You will just destroy with it. So I, I do, like I said, SE-44C is good, but to me, I'm all about the blur. Now, if you want to use your turret smart, get to a good position, like this is a great example on Taco Donna. Lay down your turret and combine that with the blur, and holy hell, you have a recipe for disaster for the enemy team. It's all about being strategic with the officer. Find a good place to put down your turret, not only to give you supplemental fire, but to guard your back, because I'm going to notice right away when my turret starts taking damage from its health bar on my abilities, and then I'll know that I'm about to get flanked. But if I don't see it taking damage, then I know that I'm pretty much safe. You see what I'm saying? And in general, any enemy that manages to sneak up on you, they will already have a couple bullets in them because your turret just puts some bullets into them before they can reach you. There's no other class in this game that can, you know, do that kind of a thing except for the heavy with this rocket turret. But I just feel like this turret does that job a little bit better, just guarding your back. The rocket turret is phenomenal, but this turret, like I said, it can just, you know, plain and simple, guard your back and lay down consistent firepower. So, yeah, two purposes for the turret. Locking down entrances and just sealing off, you know, watching your back, basically. The Blurg, I, I can't rave enough about this. And using your blinding grenade on heroes, see there, I got a double kill. I got Bosk and I got Bubba in that short time span. 
The fact that you can just blind a hero and then you also have a Blurg that can just do so much high damage at close range makes the officer the ideal unit for getting in close to deal with heroes and groups of clustered up enemies. I mean, look at how fast I'm able to drop Luke here with this Blurg. I'm able to steal that kill from all those heroes. That's how much damage I put out. I don't know what it is about the Blur guys, but I get most of my hero kills when I'm using this gun, to be honest. You look how fast they drop that Death Trooper. And then here I'm going to go on to, I think, destroy Palpatine and then boss right after that. I mean, it, you will really piss off enemy heroes on the enemy team because it's just so easy to run in, give yourself a nice health boost so you can stand up to the heroes and blind them with your flash grenade. And then they're just easy work for your Blur. I mean, I, it's that simple. I, I just think the officer is really tailored for taking out enemy heroes in one of the most effective ways possible. So that is a huge strength. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that the Blurg is uh, a phenomenal gun at all ranges. It's going to be exceptional at close range, pretty good at medium range. You can see here how I'm kind of struggling to tick off these enemies that are kind of far. It's not going to be like an assault rifle or a snipe rifle, that's for sure, but you can get the job done from pretty far. All in all, the officer class is really tailored to be one of the best classes you can play in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Battle Command alone is going to give you so many battle points, and there is a reason, there's a definite reason why you see so many people running this class. But that is it for my guide to the officer. Be sure to rate, like, comment, subscribe. Stay updated on tons and tons of Star Wars content. Have an awesome day.